Hi everyone and welcome. Many believe that the journey is about their divine masculine. It's about both of them coming into union and living happily ever after. And although you can have union, the journey is about you and coming into inner union first. And the inner union comes from within. So it's really important to refocus, to bring the energy back to you, and to completely let go of everything that has been holding you back. And as much as we want to make it about our person, it isn't about your person. You're on an awakening path. You're on a beautiful spiritual awakening. And I know that it can be difficult to go through the dark night of the soul, to have an ego death, to have people around you that don't understand what you're going through. I know how difficult that can be because I went through that myself. What I can say is that the more that you work on yourself, the more that you focus on you, the easier the path becomes. And the journey is not about having a relationship to do the inner work so you can be in a relationship. If your intention is not pure, if your intention is not doing the inner work for yourself, then union will never happen because you have to go inwards. You have to think about what are those areas that you've been neglecting yourself? And that may not be easy. You may not know what that is. And that is why it's so important to go within, to be in a state of peace. And only when your mind is still can you listen to your intuition because your intuition will continually guide you to what's next. And the biggest part and the hardest part of this connection is learning how to reprogram your subconscious mind because the ego is what's keeping you back. The ego is keeping you trapped and it doesn't mean to keep you trapped. The ego was all you ever knew and now you know otherwise. Now you know you're a spiritual being in a physical vessel. You know that what you see around you there is so much more out there. There is a world of beauty. There is a creation out there that has so much love, but the ego will keep you safe. The ego will keep you in your comfort zone. But this journey is not about being in your comfort zone. This journey is to help you explore who you are. And that means coming out of your comfort zone. That means stepping up, stepping into the unknown and allowing the universe to guide you, allowing the universe to bring forth to you what is in your highest good. So that means trusting, surrendering, and learning how to do that. All of that is a process. It doesn't just happen and you say, well, today I'm going to surrender and I'm just going to let go. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to let go of my friends. I'm going to move to another state or country, right? It doesn't quite work like that because there are 3D obstacles. There are families you have to consider. There are jobs that you have to consider. So all of it is a process. Don't feel like you have to do it all at once or you'll never succeed. No, the journey is guiding you. It's helping you take the initial steps so you can go forward. And when you go forward, the doors open more and more. You may see a little crack in the door, but the door will continually open and open and open where you can walk through and you will feel that light. You will know that you are the light. And that is what this journey is about. It isn't about being with your person. Yes, you can be with your person once you can be with yourself. You have to learn how to be with yourself. You have to learn to put your needs first. Now, that doesn't mean that other people aren't important. No, what that means is that You've neglected yourself. 
you f have forgotten who you are. So this journey is helping you realize who are you? Ask yourself, who are you at soul level? Can you answer that? Who are you? Besides being the name that you are, who are you as a being? And why are you here on this earth? Can you answer that? That is what this journey is. That is what this awakening path is, is to bring you to that heightened level of realizing who you are. And you'll have to dig through the dirt and pull out the weeds and really go deep. And you can, you can go deep, but it takes time. I'm not here to tell you it doesn't take work. It does. Let your intuition guide you. Let your soul guide you. Let go of the 3D part that's keeping you stuck, that's keeping you in mind, that's allowing your ego to keep you in a cage. Open up that cage. Let yourself out. Be free. That is what this journey is. And it's all a process. It's all a unique journey for each one of you. It's going to look so different for each one of you. And that is the beauty of this journey is that you get to realize who you are and you have that opportunity now to start. If you need help, I do have a website. Feel free to reach out. I can help you and guide you and facilitate with you the tools that you need. But ultimately, the work is up to you, my dear friends. I'm sending you so much love.